The Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces stood in solidarity with his men yesterday at a parade held in honor of the position. Usually attached to Independence Day celebrations, this year the parade marks the start of a week of activities that will highlight the value of the Defense Force. President Carmona said it was time for the truth to be told about the country's armed forces. If only we would not allow ourselves to be driven by fragmenting thinking, we would see the true value of our defense force. The president's arrival was delayed after one of his outriders got into an accident. He chose to sacrifice protocol to care for the officer. A motorbike officer by the name of PC Kevin Wilson, who crashed into the back of a vehicle in a terrible way. We felt in the circumstances we couldn't leave him behind. And I do apologize for our late arrival. President Carmona later revealed that the officer was resting comfortably at the West Shore Medical Facility. In 1976, Sir Ellis Clark became the first Commander-in-Chief as Trinidad and Tobago attained Republican status. Since then, President Carmona noted, the role of the military has evolved. The battlefield is no longer exclusively in a distant land. In this volatile environment, the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force is in no different situation from any other mainstream professional military organization. The Minister of National Security and the Attorney General were also in attendance as a joint precision drill and tactical display unfolded on the shore bordering the heliport. The Coast Guard gave amphibious support, neutralizing the initial threat. Before the regiment arrived and mopped up the rest of the insurgents, extracting their hostages. In his address, the President quoted former Chief of Defense Staff Brigadier Carl Alfonso saying, it was a good day to be a soldier, adding that it was a proud day to be their Commander-in-Chief. Jovan Ravello, TV6 News.